longer video. So basically, I'm just gonna show. So I I'm gonna say about 25 minutes possibly at most. Um, so if you can watch that, please do. Um, so basically, I'm, it's gonna be an OBS video. So I'm recording OBS with with an screen recorder. I movies. I mean. Um, Quick time view specifically since uh, um, the other ones I have don't work properly on M1. So basically, I'm opening up OBS. So this is what you see. Um, so um, so I made a couple scenes. I made a, a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I basically program. I basically have the stream deck. So basically. There's a couple buttons on my stream deck that I'm going to explain before I get into this right here. So basically, I have a dashboard slash uh, um, another multi action that basically, when I press it, it opens up one link and then which is my dashboard, and the other link, which is my uh, Tor client that I use for um, getting movies of that I already own, but that I don't feel like gripping, and then. My NAS, which is with this one, the NAS button, when I press it, it basically opens up um, those, it opens up the NAS um, um, automator app, and that will basically um, open the network drive that I have, um, which you see right here. Then I have one that is for opening up the movie folder that that is an o that has an OBS folder in there where all my files get stored to for recording, and then I have OBS which op when I press it it opens it, and then next to it I have scene one which you'll see right here scene two three four five six seven eight, and also I have desktop capture capture two, uh, super one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve okay, and I also have the switching the Mac audio so I can basically switch the stream between there so I can pick between there and pick between these headphones or the Mac speaker so I can have different types of audio and then I have my my iMovie software for editing um, and also it's a multi-action that when I press once it opens iMovie or I can press again to open up um, Final Cut. Same with the GarageBand one, which is either GarageBand or Logic. And then I have another button over here, which is a remote desktop protocol and a sleep button. I want to basically combine, I want to get another stream deck where basically I can either add another stream deck or basically do another page where where basically where basically um when i press a button on the stream deck it would basically I, it will deactivate every um it, a multi action will deactivate every um view source uh, on a multi action switch or a multi action to basically disable all of the um the background um, the background dot jpgs on on here so i can basically press another button to switch in between these and i can start recording by themselves locally to switch between because right now how how i have the setup i'm going to show show the only thing that's honestly active is this and then the background the background is an is a video and the video literally is behind a green screen because what you see behind me is the green screen so where the table cuts off right here is a green screen and since my shoulder usually covers that up you really don't see that that much and so this is just this one right here and then for number two it's pretty much the same as that green screen but just a different background same with number three four five six seven eight and then on desktop i have it so it records 
so I'm, I'm actually in here too, but for the um, desktop, it is just uh, OB the OBS. Um, this will be minimizing the background since I'm only using one screen. And then there's Capture, which is my capture card. Nothing special here. Then I have Capture and Cam, which is basically just the green screen with the, um, the camera. Then for Super Source One, which is, uh, oh, I didn't disable that, so. So, oopsies. So, one second. So, this is um, Super Source One, where it's um, the background of uh, one of them and also the desktop body, the des desktop. So, I can basically show you right here and have a different view, view of that. Number Super Source 2 is uh, also again not selected. So this is basically the same exact thing but in a different direction. So number 3, same thing. 4, same thing. 5 is. Uh, Four is the same, same thing, but at different angles, because I because this one actually is the smoothest running one. That's why I have this one the most. Then I have five, which is this one, but this is with the capture card at, at an upwards angle. And then number six. Man, the reason I have that, I'll explain. So this is number six, which is where... It is uh, just another super source where that's not using any ATEM, so you can trigger this with the stream stream deck. And so, what this is, it's the desktop and also the um, capture card. So, you could use a capture card and capture stuff while also capturing the um, des desktop. So, this is mainly aimed at if I plug a plug a camera into the HMI cable, which this capture card is, is hooked to. I can show the stream deck or some other stuff just as that. And then number seven, which is the same exact thing, but reversed. So capture card on the left and um, the top on the right. And I have one right here, which is just them both in the center. I mean, them right up there with the video right there. So, number nine is uh, basically just this one with me on the left and desktop on the right. And this, which was is the reverse. And then number 11 is with the capture card and reverse. Um... And so, let me just show you how 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 it's set up. So, this is how they would normally be with the, the full with desktop with background. I basically cut out most of that stuff. Uh, I was showing you. I was showing you how to. I was just basically going through back to reset out it how it was. So this is how it, how it should be. In fact, I'll show you with number one. So when I press the scene one. On the stream deck, you'll see what happens in OBS. So when I press it, so let me just lower this down real quick. So so basically, if you pay attention here, it's because none of this stuff down here gets touched. None of this stuff gets touched, only this stuff. So let me show you. So when I press it, also pay attention to the screen. So this is number one. Starts recording. Then does my logo. Web URL. then it does this like that and now 
it does this. And then from here, it records for 15 minutes. And uh, basically, I'm going to just show you this after. I'm just going to basically show you this part that I'm going to record with because of... Let me just explain while the time is running out. I'm going to actually fast forward through 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 the OBS part. So basically, I'm going to show you how I actually got it like that. So it's really interesting. So the only thing that this, this icon does actually appear, it basically pulsates, showing that it's recording. And then, and if you notice that uh, when I press um, start, or, uh, when, I press, when I press the button on the stream deck, it literally went from, it turned off background, then it did, uh, um, it did uh, the website, which was the link you saw at the bottom here, and the icon and logo coming out from here, and then this coming out there to here, and then it zooming in so it can be right easier. And then from there, it does the like button thing, which is the icon sliding out, and then the thing coming up and then sliding left. I mean, sliding left and then coming down, sliding left, coming down, showing that's a hit. And then the next one, which is, if you need information below, it will be in the description. And if it's not, I would basically eventually put it there. So, and then after that, all of the, the, the ones actually turn off. And then the only thing that actually remains active is, is, is this icon and then the background, depending on here. And with another frame deck, you literally could just uh, do a multi-action to, to, to turn off all background images. And then you could then use, use a um, switch to switch in between all of these ones. I'm not talking about switch, a actual, you, you could use it to actually do source toggle, I mean scene toggle like uh, um, in your stuff, and since all the stuff here is basically, would be deactivated, you would only get this one, and then you could basically press another multi-action multi -action button to turn them all back on when, when you're done, and then you can also have a separate stop button. You can either do that with a separate stream deck or the same stream deck, I'm just going to have a separate stream deck first of that. But I'm just talking about this while um, it um, does the same. But let me just show you the how how it is. So basically, here is uh, um, the sweat. Here's the um, here's the um, stream deck software. So if you well, well, what I did was I made icons. So this one, scene one, which which is obvious right now, is uh, this is the background of that. I just took a picture of it and then shrunk it down. Same with number two, same as number two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, eight, 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 eight,
and um, 20 minutes was too long too, so 15 minutes is perfect, so if I need to, need to um, make it longer, I can make a second part. And then after it gets enabled, it does a 2,000 second delay, and then it'll stop recording, and then that'll be the end of that. So, and what I was talking about is, uh, is that you can, you can actually, um, you can literally, um, make it so you, you can, um, have, uh, have it so you can switch, switch, switch as she seems. You, you, you can make it so when you switch as she seems, you can literally just, uh, um, you literally can just have another phrase, phrase frame deck or same frame deck by actually having a multi-action that will basically turn all of the browser, I mean, all of the, well, have you have it since I have since I'm using my the background, it'll basically, it'll turn off all backgrounds, and that means I can then freely use the scene switch button and switch the actual scenes normally, and then when I'm done, I can basically press it again. Well, I would probably have it as a multi-action, probably. So, the, for example, I'll show you. Let me just... So, so how, how, I, I can't, I'm not, we're going to mess, mess with this stuff. So basically, you basically take a multi-action switch, and then when you press, when you press it the first time, it turns them all off, which means you basically just take a, you just take a, um, one of these OBS sources of visibility, and then you turn off, uh, you turn off uh, all of the, the backgrounds, so you basically just press hide for all of them, and then you, which in my case would be, um, right here would be 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, so that'll be 24. And so it will be, it will turn 24 for off at once. Yeah, so I'm just looking at it, we're at the 15 minute mark. So you're watching this actually live, so I thought it's gonna be actually long, so. So if you look at the time right here, it's 15 minutes. It's actually a little bit more than 15 minutes because of, uh, because it has to do the switch. Because it has to, there it goes, it just switched. And now it stops recording. And there you go. Because of uh, now, I'll be right back while while you watch that. I mean, because of I, you actually will see it. Any interruptions or any talking, just straight up uh, how it works. It'll be gone at times eight eight speed, so you'll see it. It's 16 minutes and 17 seconds, not that bad, but but what you can do with the this uh, is uh, you can literally take uh, use it for streaming. Where if you want to basically stream, example for example, a TV show that uh, that you want to stream that you're not gonna gonna save a VOD for. Unless you want to save save it locally on your computer and not to um um Twitch or any streaming flat platform, you're just straight streaming it. So what you need to do is basically take the file, put in OBS, okay. Then you take a multi action on the stream stream deck, and the basically um you take scene one. You, you 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 take the first video you basically take a, you take the stream deck and basically um when you press the button it plays the first video and then after playback you basically uncheck do nothing in the video file and then after that you make a mult then the next switch then the next action in there is uh, you actually um, put the, you you put a delay in there for the video to play. After that, you you make sure it says play. Click click here. Um, check to 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 make sure it doesn't play. To, to make sure, check here to to do nothing isn't checked. And then after that, you go to, um, you have it switch to the next scene. And once it switches to the next scene, you literally just uh, let it uh, play and, do, and repeat the process. And then you can basically stream a whole, a whole series like that. So, thanks for watching. Uh, um, bye.